Percy Jackson and the Olympians cast is enjoying their current shine, and they're on their way to stardom thanks to the Disney Plus adaptation, but the cast is not exactly newbies in the industry, and they had some previous acting experiences, which makes it possible that you may have already seen them somewhere. Percy's beloved mother, Sally Jackson, is portrayed by Virginia Cole. She has many appearances in TV shows, of which probably the best known are Big Little Lies, where she portrayed Emily Barnes and No S482, where she played Linda McQueen or Sneaky Pete. She also appeared in several Broadway productions like The Heiress, where she played Maria and Dividing the Estate as Irene. So far, she's done a great job of portraying Sally, which made the fans fall in love with her. Toby Stevens, who portrays Percy's godly parent Poseidon in the show, had no other choice just to become an actor, as his parents are Maggie Smith and Robert Stevens. He has a massive portfolio with several impressive roles, such as Gustav Graves in one of the James Bond movies, Die Another Day, or Edward Fairfax Rochester in a BBC adaptation of Jane Eyre. He also took part in the Netflix series Lost in Space, where he portrayed John Robinson. He's, however, best known for his role as Captain Flint, also known as James McGraw, in the TV series Black Sails, which follows the adventures of the captain and his crew full of pirates. A funny coincidence that Toby went from playing a pirate captain who opiates on the sea to playing the god of the sea himself. The fans have once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to compare these two roles and decide which is better. No one saw the casting of Lin-Manuel Miranda to the show coming, but it happened, and now he portrays one of the gods, Hermes. Miranda has an impressive career portfolio. The audience might know him from the role of Lee Scoresby, whom he portrayed in the TV show His Dark Materials, or his role of Jack in Mary Poppins Returns. He also worked as a lyricist for many Disney movies like Encanto, Little Mermaid, and Moana. He also appeared in several theater plays, Camelot and Tick, Tick, Boom, but the fans probably know him from the musical Alexander Hamilton, where he portrayed the titular role. The songs were catchy and almost impossible to get them out of the head. He already showed his singing abilities in Percy Jackson show in the elevator while he was on his way to deliver Medusa his head to the gods. While we're talking about the gods, it's necessary to mention Jason Mantzoukas, who portrays the god of wine and the director of the camp Half-Blood Dionysus. His acting portfolio includes a wide range of projects from comedic to more serious ones. He appeared in Brooklyn Nine-Nine as Adrian Pimento and John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. He also lent his voice to Jay Bilzerian in the animated show Big Mouth or Jankom Pog in Star Trek Prodigy. The actor Adam Copeland, who plays the god of War Ares, looks big and scary exactly as the god God is supposed to. It might come as no surprise to the fans of the show that he has a wrestling background and is also known under his ring name, Edge. But he also has a few roles under his belt. He appeared in Vikings, where he portrayed Ketil Flatnose in 25 episodes. His other role was Dwight Hendrickson in the series Haven. His background had to be really helpful while filming the Percy Jackson show, but it still will be fun to see a big guy like him fight a 12-year-old and lose on the big screen. Hades also appears in the first season of the show. The God of the Underworld is portrayed portrayed by Jay Duplass. He's not only an actor, but also a filmmaker who often collaborates with his brother Mark. But Jay starred in the show Transparent, made by Amazon Video, which was well received by critics. Transparent was his first featured part, which he got after a dinner with the director of the series, Joey Soloway, who had a problem to find the perfect actor to portray Josh Pfefferman. The fans of Percy Jackson are curious about his portrayal of the god who is perceived as a gray character slash villain, but we'll have to wait a little bit more. Another important character a mentor of demigods, Kiran, is portrayed by Glenn Russell Terman. He's another accomplished actor who joined the cast with projects that won awards. You might know him from House of Lies, where he played Jeremiah Khan, or the Netflix movie Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. He won a Primetime Emmy Award for the role in the series in Treatment. He was cast in his first role when he was 12, which is a really long time ago, but his portfolio is only growing. It's good for the cast to have such experienced people on the board because they can teach the younger cast a thing or two not only about acting and being professional. Charlie Bushnell portrays one of the important characters in the show, Lou Castellan. Acting is something that runs in his family as his uncle is also an actor and his father is a popular musician. He was only 10 when he started to make movies together with his friends. But later he landed real roles like Hicks and Wetworks and the role of a student, Bobby Canero Reed, who struggles with his teenage life and sexuality in the Disney show Diary of a Future President. But his so far not very long appearance in Percy Jackson looks promising and he might actually build a fan base. When it comes to Arian Simadri, who portrays Grover Underwood, he's been busy with work since his childhood. His career started with commercials, which led to roles in television in projects like How to Live with Your Parents, For the Rest of Your Life, or Will and Grace. But his true breakthrough came with the movie Thaw Main Event. 
but he also managed to become a Disney Channel star when he starred in the movie Spin, which made history by featuring only Asian Indian cast in the lead roles. Another of his Disney roles includes the project Just Roll With It, where he fine-tuned his improv skills, as in the show, the audience brought the ideas of what would be happening in the scenes and the cast had to just roll with it. Arian is known for his ability to sing, which he already presented in Percy Jackson, so it comes as no surprise that Arian appeared in Trevor the Musical. Recently, his old videos resurfaced where he's beautifully singing a cover of Adele's Rolling in the Deep, which is used as a meme by the fandom these days. But he uses his voice also for different purposes as he lends it to characters in his voiceover projects. We could hear his voice in movies like the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, Adventures in Wonder Park, where he voices a character named Banksy or Adventure Time, a series that managed to win awards where he lends his voice to Tiffany. It's a pretty rich portfolio for an actor who's only 17. The second part of the iconic trio is Leah Sava Jeffries, who portrays Annabeth Chase. The talented actress started her career similarly to Arian, appearing in local ads from early childhood. But her first real role was the role of Lola Lyon in the TV series Empire. She was only five when she filmed six episodes in which she appeared. She also appeared in the movie Paw Parazzi, where she portrayed Monique, Beast as the character Nora Samuels, and something from Tiffany's where she portrayed Daisy Green. But the role of Annabeth is the biggest one yet, and it's obvious that her stardom will only grow. The main star of the show, Walker Scoble, who portrays the beloved Percy Jackson, undoubtedly made a great impression not only on the audience, but also on the showrunners. His previous experiences helped him get this role. Spending much time with Ryan Reynolds helped him develop his sassy attitude. The two actors met on the set of The Adam Project, where Walker played the younger version of Ryan's character Adam, who's snarky and snappy, just perfect for Walker. The movie follows the two Adams who team up after the older Adam lands in 2022. Together, they try to change and save the future. This role was destined for him as he loved Deadpool 2 and watched it a bit too much and could recite the whole thing by heart. The obsession with the movie helped him to learn Ryan's mannerisms and get the job. According to the director of the movie, Walker would show up on the set and know what to say and what to do so that it'd look exactly like his older co-star. He said in the interview, Ryan and I are like, what is happening? Why do you know every inflection, every pause, every talk fast, every talk slow? The two actors spent a lot of time together and Walker learned something or two, which influenced not only his acting skills, but his personality as well. In the interview, Walker said, he taught me a bunch of things like how to say things differently. He taught me how to scream. During the production of the movie, Walker worked with many big names besides Ryan, Mark Ruffalo, Zoe Saldana, and Jennifer Garner. According to Rick, the production cast him before The Adam Project came out, but the movie confirmed everything the production already knew about the young actor and his abilities. Besides Ryan Reynolds' movie, Walker appeared also in the movie Secret Headquarters where he portrayed a character named Charlie Kincaid. With the show finally streaming, we're about to get a brand new generation of beloved actors who are on their way to stardom as Percy Jackson and the Olympians is, for many, the biggest project of their lives. But we'll have to wait to see what will happen whose acting role from the cast of Percy Jackson and the Olympians surprised you the most.